So after covering our two most iconic speedsters and pitting them against each other, I was tasked with choosing between the matchup for the next video in this format. The idea with these in-game versus Warframe videos is to find two Warframes who fit a similar theme or role to see which is better, and today we discuss who the better Blade Master is between Ash and Kalavo. Ash being our OG ninja theme Warframe who specialises in both gun and blade, with huge slash damage, finisher buffs, armour shredding and invis, whilst Kalavo is one of our more recent frames themed around sins and punishment. He also offers a large amount of slash damage, melee amplifying and overguard. These two share the Blade Master theme and skills which should make for a fun comparison. Much like the last video, we have categories to go over though. Each category has a point up for grabs depending on which frame is better at it. And remember this is all for fun so don't get too upset if your favourite frame doesn't win. The categories are Kit, which frame has the better skill set design and how much they require augments and helmets. Gunplay, which frame better bolsters gunplay. Melee play, which frame better bolsters melee play. Team buffing, which frame offers better team buffs. Survivability, which frame has better survivability. Our unique category for today is slash damage and application, so which frame applies this damage type better. And then our last category shall be investment, how much effort a frame requires in order to reach its peak potential and whatnot. The less requirement, the better. Starting with the kit category. Ash is of course the much older Warframe, so it makes sense that some of his abilities have become both Augment and Helmet reliant. His Shuriken is a good example. Shuriken may have decent slash damage, especially combined with Ash's longer slash proc passive, but the main use of this ability comes with the Augment seeking Shuriken with its armor strip. Unfortunately, it has little value outside of the Augment. His smoke screen, however, is excellent with and without its Augments. The third ability, Teleport, is basically a much worse version of Kalavo's 1, but it has its niches when combined with Bladestorm and the Solid Augment. And finally, Bladestorm, although a bit slow, can be modded to deal massive amounts of damage with and without augments. Onto Kalavo's kit, he is one of the most powerful and well designed frames in recent times. From easy overguard application with his 2, huge damage spread and buffing when combining his 1 with his 3, and even huge AoE damage with his 4 all without needing any augments or subsoon. He can do very similar things to Ash, but more coherently with his base kit, so in that case I think Kalervo takes the first point. Next up is Gunplay. This is an extremely close category that I think may end up as a controversial result regardless of who I grant the point to. On one hand, Ash bolsters slash proc duration, can strip enemy armour, and boost his crit chance with the smoke screen augment, and he has plenty of opportunity for subsooms in his kit, further buffing his guns. On the other hand, although Kalervo's Raffle Advance only boosts your melee crit chance, his third Collective Curse works in spreading all of your attacks including gun damage. This works really well with all weapons but especially sniper rifles and the combo count they offer as the ability will also boost the sniper's combo count, effectively turning the weapon into a room nuke. This category is extremely close but I think Ash fits the gun platform better. Sure, Kalervo can help out sniper rifles, but I feel the combination of his Raffle Advance and Collective Curse is still more potent than using a gun to spread the damage. Ash, however, is a perfect level cap Warframe, stripping enemy armor and boosting his crit chance to take on high priority targets. These buffs just work better with a lot of guns, whilst Kalervo better suits single shot damage weapons. Ash takes this round. Now let's talk about melee. By most melee Warframe standards, Ash will be at the top of the pack not only for the same buffs that work with his gunplay, but the huge finisher damage he can get from Fatal Teleport, and of course his Blade Storm makes him one of the best melee frames. And he has access to stealth multipliers via his invis, but despite how strong of a melee frame he is, Kalervo may just be the strongest melee buffer in the game. His enormous crit buffs and the ability to spread his damage, which essentially grants you room wide range, is a broken combo. That and how his passive makes heavy attacks much more efficient to pull off, and just about every melee attack he swings can rim nuke for millions of damage. Kalervo easily takes the melee round. The next category is team buffing. Unfortunately for Kalervo, he doesn't offer any team buffing. His kit is rather selfish and solo oriented all around, so Ash doesn't have to do much to make an impression here. Ash gets most of his team buffing from his augments. Seeking Shuriken is a great help to the team overall, but his real support comes from his Smoke Shadow augment. 
Not only does it provide crit chance, but also conceals your allies within range with the same invisibility. Keeping you and your whole team concealed and buffed on a regular basis is already strong to go up against, but Calovo never had a chance to compete here anyway. Ash takes the team buffing round with ease. Survivability is our next category, in which we basically have to ask what's more effective between invisibility and overguard. Calovo's overguard is solid and can carry him through most content. In terms of scaling however, due to only reaching in the 20,000s, it won't carry you all the way into level cap. It also has a little delay before granting you the overguard due to the daggers having to be sent out. This can be dangerous at higher levels. Ash, on the other hand, is known as one of the best endurance and level cap frames, not only due to his damage, but especially his invis. Smokescreen, much like other invis tools, really only wants rolling guard as a safety net in order to be the perfect survival tool. And with Ash's access to finishers via his 304, he can also easily trigger arcane trickery for even more invis duration. Ash easily takes us round with the scaling. Onto the unique category for today, we have to go over the slash damage both warframes possess. At first glance, you may think Ash to be the easy winner of this round due to having much higher damage slash procs when his Blade Storm is modded correctly. It's very easy to hit up in the 400,000s on single ticks, whilst Calervo has a different type of slash application. See, Blade Storm has a problem with speed. Sure, the skill is pretty much perfect on slower missions, but in survivals, for example, the speed in which it kills is rather slow for life support upkeep. But despite this, it will still clear most mission types fast enough and deals more than enough damage even in higher levels. Calovo's approach is the opposite. His 4th ability is decent on its own and applies slash very quickly, but becomes a melt machine when combined with collective curse. This combo can melt rooms of enemies much faster than Bladestorm, even into the higher levels. So Ash may be able to pump out much higher single target slash damage, but Calovo spreads slash much quicker and in a similar radius which is enough to grant him the point in this department in my opinion. And for our final category to tie this all together, we have to look at investment. And unfortunately, due to Ash's kit not really being designed well at base and needing a lot of augments to at least hit its full potential, I think Calervo takes the round based on this. Calervo is very easy to build. He's one of the best new frames and he's pretty good for new players as well, being that he's available in Daviri. And even like not fully maxed out mods on Calervo, he'll still be doing a bunch of damage, wide radius, great survivability, and Ash really starts to peak when you throw in those augments as mentioned earlier. Ash is definitely a more late game frame in the way he functions, as his main use would be in something like Endless Void Cascade for example. And then he takes some investment and building him is a bit tricky because you have to balance your range depending on what abilities you want to keep or subsume off. For example, sacrificing all your range is going to make your 3 and your 4 really bad, but at the same time you want to sacrifice that range to use something like Narrow Minded because obviously you want large amounts of invisibility duration. Calervo is just so simple and easy to figure out, both for newer and late game players, and in my opinion takes the final category, leaving him with 4 total points. So that leaves the final results being 4 points to Calovo and 3 to Ash. I think the main selling point for Ash when compared to Calovo is the fact that he's overall better for level cap content and stuff like Void Cascade, but Calovo is just so much more versatile for the rest of the game. Easy investment, pretty easy to acquire for most players as well. He just feels like direct access to some of the highest damage in the game and it makes him incredibly efficient across the board, as well as Ash requires more investment and is a bit more niche and also has shown his age over the years. And a personal gripe of mine will be Bladestorm. Bladestorm's rework has been in the game for a while, but personally it doesn't feel as fun as I want it to. I much prefer the old Bladestorm even though it was pretty brain dead. But just seeing the old animations of Ash nipping between enemies, I know you can still do that by combining his teleport with it, but I don't know if you see the gameplay, that animations are super goofy with it right now. Either way, I just think the new Bladestorm is really boring, and I also don't find his other playstyle too fun either. For being a Blade Master Warframe, Ash is better fitted to using guns. Running around with that crit chance buff from his second ability with its augment, stripping enemies arm with seeking shuriken and then often using a subsume such as nourish over either his 3 or 4. It just makes him sort of a weapons platform in this frame and I personally think that's a little bit boring, albeit the fact that he does it really well. Meanwhile Calervo can suit gunplay but he's so good at bolstering melee weapons and making them way more useful across the game by turning pretty much every attack into a room nuke. I don't know a single Warframe player that doesn't like seeing those big red numbers and it's one of the reasons why it's one of the best subsumes as well. 
The fact that his 4 combined with his 3 is extremely strong, but also optional, considering that he already has so much damage combined with the 3 and the 1, you could just subsume off his 4th ability. Kalovo is so versatile compared to Ash, and I think it would be a bit of a closer matchup if Bladestorm was a much better ability in today's game, because the game has kind of just gone on a bit too fast for it. Let me know if you guys agree with my result of the matchup. I do have a next episode plan for this versus series, but still feel free to leave your ideas in the comments section which Warframes would make really good versus videos. Try to pick Warframes that have very similar themes or maybe kits. And be sure to like and sub if you enjoyed the video. All my links will be in the description as always, and I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Take care.